Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can get the IP address of a user in Express.js. So we're going to take a look at the code that you'd use to do this. And then a lot of it actually depends on how your server's set up. So we'll take a look at an example server configuration and see what sort of settings you might need uh, to get a user's IP address. So let's head on over to some code. So dead simple Express.js app set up here. And imagine you've got a scenario where you want to get the user's IP address. And in this instance, since we're just going to send it straight back to them in a JSON response. So uh, the first and most simplest way to do this is to access a property on the request. So we actually, on the request object that comes in, there is a uh, socket property, and then there's a property on there uh, with a remote address. And if that's not populated for some reason, we'll just send back an empty string as well. Uh, and this will use request's internal framework to kind of check uh, if it can find out the uh, request, uh, or sorry, the IP address of the request that's being made. Uh, and you'll see on my local computer when we run this code, I'm getting the IPv6 uh, loopback address. Uh, so that is kind of working, um, but that's obviously not really what you want to be getting in a server configuration, which uh, as mentioned, we'll look at in a second. So we need to check some other places uh, to see if we can find a better IP address uh, for the user before we resort to this uh, remote address property on the socket. So this is going to, again, depend on your server setup, but there's a few common things that you might want to check for. Uh, so most uh, likely you're going to be using an Nginx reverse proxy. So you can set a few headers when you set up the reverse proxy, uh, and then you can check for those headers on the request object here as well. So we can say request headers, uh, and the two most common that you might be looking out for is the X uh, real IP header, uh, and then also again, another header, and this one, x forwarded for. And if you've got control over Nginx, then you should be fairly safe to use these, although the, these headers can be spoofed, obviously, uh, but if it's your proxy, then it's something that uh, you can control a bit more there. Uh, and this won't make any difference to our local uh, setup here, but you'll see in a second uh, when we run this code on the server uh, that we can get the real IP address of the user. And you can basically just keep populating this uh, list of headers that you want to check for, uh, depending on how your service is configured. For example, you might have Cloudflare uh, set up in front of your uh, service, in front of your node service, or Nginx, or whatever else you're using. Uh, so they have a header which is CF... Uh, connecting IP. So you can make a check for that header and you might want to bump that up into the uh, top priority uh, when you're checking for the IP address. Um, you could combine these as well if you wanted to have uh, all the IP addresses, but you're probably only after the one. Uh, so you can put them into uh, the kind of priority order that you want to show. Uh, so that's enough of the code. Let's have a look at the server config uh, so we can actually check this uh, is working. So uh, I'm going to head on over here to a, a server that I've got running, uh, which has got that same code running. Uh, and let's have a look at the Nginx configuration file. Let me just turn to my password here. So here, uh, we used this on a previous tutorial where we hosted multiple node apps. Uh, but you can see here, I've got another location block for an express uh, demo app. And we're passing all the requests through to the local uh, node app that's running, which was, again, that same code. And then you're setting a couple of headers here. So you've got the X real IP and also X forwarded for IP. Uh, so either one of those is going to get picked up in that list of headers. Uh, and when we actually browse to this endpoint, we should see the real IP address of the user. So let's just try that out here now. So we'll say devquotes.net and it's just at express demo. And there you go, you can see that this is the IP address, the public IP address of the connection that I'm currently on. So now we can use that IP address in our code to do something like geolocation, for example. Uh, so there you go, that's pretty simple. You just need to uh, get the uh, headers uh, for the request that's coming in, and then you just need to check a specific uh, type of header, uh, depending on how your configuration is set up. So for Nginx, it's going to be those X4 forwarded for and X real IP. Uh, but if you are using a different service provider, such as Cloudflare, in front of your service, uh, then you might want to check those additional headers as well. Uh, there you go, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.